getting to that identity defensively? Do you feel like, particularly in the second half, you all you all did that tonight? Yeah, uh, we, we played uh, good defense. We know this team um, It's not really a high scoring team. Uh, I thought we did a good job of just defending. Were there some things inside the defense that were better as the game went along? It seemed like after that first quarter, you all really settled in. Yeah, I think we just got a hold of their personnel. Um, you know, outside of Conley and um, you know, Jackson, uh, there's not many guys that can be plays. And uh, we just dialed into it. Paul, there's some games where, you know, you might start off slow and then you know, by the end of the game, you're shooting 50% from the field. Do you ever, in the course of the game, know when you're struggling? And then feel when you get to the point to where your your shot is there. Um, yeah, I mean, I, I just I let the game come to me. Uh, only time I really get into trouble, um, struggle wise, is is just when I force it. Uh, I try to be too aggressive um, instead of just letting plays develop sometimes. Um, but I can always feel, you know, as as I get going, as I like start getting the looks I want. Um, then the rhythm starts to come, and uh, you know, I start to get some easy looks. When you've been playing so well in the past couple of months, when when are you forcing it? When when can you tell when you're forcing it? Because you know, to somebody who just watches the game, I mean, any shot might look like a good shot that that's coming from you because you're shooting so well. Um, yeah, I mean, I, I I could just tell when you know I've maybe um, maybe broke a playoff or you know got into the offense, I'm starting to over dribble. Um, that's when when it's the rhythm is not uh, where I need to be. Uh, a lot of times when it's just random attacks and you know I can get a quick look off of one movement. Um, you know that's when I'm at my best uh, when it's just you know a quick move and I'm into my shot or you know, a quick pick and roll and you know, I'm downhill. Uh, that's usually when the rhythm is, is at its best. What ripple effects do they have for Steven to come in and start scoring at the rim right away in that second half? Um, I mean, it's good. As it's, it's, it's much as we can get interior interior scoring, uh, the better. I think tonight they played a funky zone, man kind of matchup, uh, where it was forcing us to shoot a lot of uh, threes just because those were open. Um, it was good to have a balance, to have Steve in the paint. Um, it was a big presence and, and a good lift for you know, us to get him down there and score. You oh, flashed into the paint. So you just mentioned that funky zone. You flashed into the paint, got a catch, flung to the opposite corner. Are those the types of things that can break the zone when you, when you can get to those spots? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, it's, that's all it is. You just find a spot. Um, their zone works to try to keep us out of the paint. Uh, we get catches in the paint and fling it out for quick, you know, uncontested threes. It's going to get a team out of the zone right away. Paul, oh, this is the second year in a row, I think, that y'all have gone through a trade deadline and, and not had anybody traded away from the team. You know? Throughout the season, maybe in a buyout or in the offseason, y'all will pick up a guy, but went through two seasons in a row now without having a guy leave. What does that do for a team to be able to carry through an entire season with you know, the same group of guys? Um, which is good. We know we started together and we're going to finish together. Um, really what it, what it comes down to, um, you know, Everybody's at ease. Everybody can wipe the sweat off the forehead and uh, you know get ready for the second half. Have you seen your uh, all-star roster yet? I did. What do you think of? Uh, play a little traditional, too big. Uh, <laughs> three guards with what Giannis got going on. Um, but you know, at the end of the day, we're gonna have fun. Giannis plays the game hard, even during all-star games. Um, so. You know, as as the captain, I'm sure he's gonna come out. You know, trying to guard and lock up everybody. Uh, so I'm looking forward to the matchups out there. What do you think about the last minute swap between Simmons and your teammate Russell Westbrook? What did you think about that? I'm not the coach. I'm not the captain. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just a player. Glad to have us on the same side. Absolutely, absolutely. I told him I was gonna lock this shit up. <laughs> <laughs> Lucky he on my side. <laughs> Anybody else? Well, speaking of locked up, you got, you got James Harden on uh, Saturday. Just talk about what you have to do defensively to kind of stop him. He's been on the tear just as much as you. Yeah, yeah. I'm looking forward to the matchup, um, as I'm sure he is as well. It's always fun going against James. Um, I won't get no details. I'll be ready Saturday, though. Thanks, Paul. Thanks, Paul. Thank you.